What's going on, everybody? This is Jeff with Altcoin Buzz. So today I've decided to take the opportunity to show you guys Coin Checkup, an alternative to Coin Market Cap. So uh, over the last month or so, some of you have grown frustrated with Coin Market Cap, so that's why I'm showing you this. But not just because you guys have grown frustrated, but because this website has a lot to offer. This actually comes from Matthew on our team. He manages our Steemit for us. If you haven't already checked us out on Steemit, you can. Uh, let's go ahead and refresh the page, see where we're at. We're growing. We're at 192, up from 177. So, uh, yeah, Matthew's been managing this for us. This is uh, from Stacking. We re-steamed it. So we're looking to build this out, if you haven't already checked this out on Steemit. But anyways, let's go ahead and talk about this website and what I like about it and why I'm showing it to you. So, if we just go through some of the basics here, um, you can see it's kind of like coin market cap. It's got scores, though. This is different, right? It's got the circulating supply, the 24-hour volume, the market capitalization right here. It's got the overall global market cap. You can log in, sign up, do all that good stuff. You got the 24-hour volume, okay? Then, right here, you have the fundamental analysis. This is kind of cool, actually. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So you'll notice it, it actually calculates the project based on uh, certain scores, right? So you have the team, 100%. Transparent, basically. Advisors, 50%. Uh, community, 90%. Product, 94%. Coin, 93%. Social media, 80%. This is for Cardano, by the way. But you can see how your investment or your product that you're investing in, your, your project, I, I guess you could say, stacks up compared to other ones. So, you know, when that comment comes up, how strong is, how strong is the project? Is it a worthwhile investment? Now you have at least something additional to go off of other than your own intuition or an opinion. Now you have a little bit more in-depth data set should you so choose to use Coin Checkup. Now I've never talked to anyone at Coin Checkup. In fact, um, if they would like to contact me, that'd be great. But um, it's going to take me a little bit of time to get familiarized with this, like just playing around with this, right? I can see. Okay, so here's their social media. These are some of the coins that have the top social media, top products. Let's see here. Who's got some great products? Uh-huh. Or got their products out that got a score of 100%. I've never even heard of these, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at these guys, right? All right. You can see ability to contact the company via Slack, Telegram, or ICQ. Uh, 70 or zero points out of 70. Okay, see, so I'm, I'm kind of learning on the fly here, but more than anything, I'm showing you the utility and how you can use this if you really wanted to get familiarized with it, right? It, it moves pretty fast. It, I mean, you know, it's it does take a little bit to upload some data, which can be frustrating. It's not like lightning quick, but you can see the how you're able to drill down a little bit more. And if you've been watching my channel or this channel for a while now, you know that my frustration has been with not being able to not being able to know where the money is coming out of. So is it coming out of the doll? Is it coming out of BTC going into USD? Is it coming out of BTC going into Korean won, Japanese yen, uh, tether? Where's the money flowing through? But not just in the 24 hour cycle, but in the hourly. Because the money can flow out and in based on the hour, right? So that's why I'd like that detail. But you could even see, look at this, Google search trends right here. That's very impressive to have Google trends in, uh, configured into the website, built into this website, coin facts and figures. Um, you can see this is great. I mean, there's a lot of <clears throat> a lot of stuff. They got the team. You can click straight to the team page if you wanted to know about this. And I've never even heard of this product you, or this project, but you see how it's uh, linked there. Also, look at this. They got the website, blog, um, Bitcoin Talk, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Reddit, GitHub. I mean, all that's right there. So it's, it, because it's more in depth and it's new to me, it's going to take me a while to understand exactly what I'm looking at. But I like this scoring factor. Okay. Let's see what else. I mean, they got the seven day, the 24 hour, the hourly. You got the price. There was also some uh, prediction stuff here. Now, I don't typically put too much credibility into predictions. Uh, and you know, if I ever talk about a coin, I'm mostly giving a projection, a projection based on what uh, my own computation or my own data and my own consciousness or gut would tell me, right? But 
this does give you some data to suggest some uh, future prospects, as you can see. Um, they've got Bitcoin, it looks like 4% worldwide M2 money flows into the crypto market. We got a $79,000 um, Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum at $7,000. Ripple at 898, Bitcoin Cash 11,000. So you can see, just based on some of their, uh, I believe, let's see, if 4% worldwide physical money flows into cryptocurrency and the coin keeps its current market value and grows linear, linearly with the crypto market, these would be the prices, right? So this is if 4% of the um, Forex comes into this global for, foreign exchange, right? So, you know, you've heard the you've heard the com comments that were made. Ten percent of global forex, right? If uh, cryptocurrency market in the next, you know, five years or so is expected and projected to have that ten percent of the global forex. So this is just four percent of the global forex, right? The money flow. Um, I believe that's what they're insinuating. But if if you were to calculate this by 10, you know, you don't, you'd almost have over a hundred thousand dollar bit. You'd have over a hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin approaching 200,000. If, if that's the same that they mean 4% worldwide M2 as the global Forex, um, correct me if I'm wrong, please. <laughs> Anyways, um, looks like they've gone off of some previous, uh, growth stats where they've got the historical 2010 to 2016, 50% uh, of Bitcoin, 10% of Bitcoin. So it's just, it, and, and they do this for some of your other favorite coins. Like if we just look at Lisk, $150 for Lisk. Um, Omise Go, 112. It's interesting to see Tether. I mean, what is this? How, how, do, how would Tether have a $7? <laughs> okay, well, um, so I guess, what, is it good to invest in Tether now? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Binance coin, I think this is a low projection for Binance coin, but Steam, where would Steam be? Eh, 29 bucks, okay. I think that's a low projection for Steam, but what do I know in terms of that, right? So it's interesting. This You can at least have fun with this, uh, whether, it, but it's, it's just using hard data and it's not using any sort of consciousness, human consciousness, right? And it's probably not taking into any consideration the uh, roadmap or anything like that. This is just straight up saying if it maintains its its growth, right? So yeah, I mean, I'm just showing you guys around this website. If we just take a look here, you got categories, digital currency, platform payments, smart contracts, privacy. Let's take a look at privacy. See what comes up in here. Uh, looks like uh, okay. This, it might be such a brand new website, they haven't built this section out yet, which is okay. Uh, it's, what's this coin screener? Category tags, proof type. Um, so anyways, what do you guys think of this new website? You said you wanted some so us to dig around a little bit and, and find cool stuff. Well, here you go. Let me know what you guys think of coin checkup. And also, let's take a look at our Twitter and see what's been going on over here. So... Got you guys included in the conversations. If you're not already following us on Twitter, you can at altcoinbuzz.io. Uh, we've got why the crypto market pullback. Let's take a look at what some of you guys have been saying. Congrats on shouting out to you. Oh. Yeah, I shouted out to Sean uh, Rothfuss. So that's cool. Um, this guy diagnosed it with bipolar. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Global warming. <laughs> yeah. Global warming. There you go. I mean, that could be a factor, right? Futures. People seem to think the futures market is definitely affecting the market. So that's something to keep in mind here, right? CME futures. CME futures. So... Self key will go to $1 in 2018. All right. Futures. And let's see what's going on on Instagram over here. Seeing what the Instagram crowd is putting out there. Media FUD, futures, BitConnect shutdown. So is BitConnect affecting the market, do you think, huh? 
Uh, apparently, some Wall Street guy was talking, blaming Bitcoin today at the WEF in Davao, Switzerland, okay? I'm ready to swim in the green sea again. Yeah, me too, man. But at the same time, you know, when it goes green, you're going to be like, man, why didn't I jump in the Red Sea when I had a chance, right? I don't know. That's not professional financial advice. That's just my kind of outlook on it. I'm like, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm looking for deals right now. That's just me. But obviously, if it keeps pulling back the market, that wouldn't be uh, fun. But it looks like it's kind of recovering. I, I have to get used to using this website, though. This is a totally new website for me. Is that a real-time tracker? Like, is that thing going up, up and down without me even having to refresh it? It looks like this thing just automatically updates. Let's see here. Bitcoin dominance. It's got all the same stuff as uh, Coin Market Cap, but a little bit more enhanced. But I can't tell if this is real-time updates. So, anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think of videos like this. Let me know if you guys like this website. If you see any utility in this, or if you're going to stick to Coin Market Cap, if you want me to start using this website, or stick with the old, uh, or maybe a mix of both, I still got to uh, drill down and take a look at this website more in detail. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Subscribe to this channel if you like, and click the bell button if you like to get notified when videos like this drop.